Many people are quick to dismiss Aptera. They take one look at its two doors, three wheels, and futuristic design, and instantly label it a niche vehicle, something too unusual to appeal to the mass market. But that assumption couldn't be further from the truth. Despite its unconventional look, Aptera already has over 30,000 reservations, and that's just the beginning. Today, we're going to explore the hidden opportunities that most people overlook, the use cases where Aptera could absolutely thrive and grow far beyond what the current market expects. Right now, Aptera feels like a small, passionate community of EV enthusiasts. It's an underdog brand with a devoted following. But once the numbers start to tell their story, once the data proves how efficient, affordable, and practical this vehicle really is, Aptera has the potential to explode in popularity. Let's dive into why this vehicle might quietly be building a foundation for one of the most surprising success stories in modern transportation. One of the most overlooked areas where Aptera could shine is last mile delivery. Sure, it's not a full-size cargo van, but it's far more capable than most people realize. The vehicle offers around 25 cubic feet of storage space. And for solo delivery drivers, that's plenty. You can easily remove the passenger seat and dedicate that space to packages. There's a growing number of independent drivers partnering with companies like Amazon, UPS, and FedEx, delivering parcels in their personal vehicles. I've seen it even in rural areas where people use their cars to deliver packages like gig workers for logistics. This is where Aptera makes perfect sense. With its ultra-efficient design and built-in solar charging, it's one of the cheapest vehicles to operate on Earth. Delivery drivers often worry about fuel costs cutting into their profits, but Aptera practically eliminates that concern. It's aerodynamic, lightweight, and partially self-charging, which means a driver could deliver dozens of packages while spending next to nothing on energy. Even if it can't match a traditional van's cargo space, the sheer operating efficiency makes it a practical and profitable choice for many last-mile delivery jobs. Now imagine Aptera in the world of island rentals, places like Hawaii, Puerto Rico, or Costa Rica, where tourists constantly rent vehicles to explore paradise. In these sunny environments, Aptera's solar capabilities become a superpower. Tourists rarely travel far, and sunshine is abundant, meaning these cars could operate all day with minimal or no external charging. I visited a small island once where people rented jeeps for a few hours just to drive the entire perimeter. Imagine replacing those jeeps with Apteras, cheaper to run, easier to maintain, and powered by the sun. On an island, imported gas is expensive, maintenance is difficult, and range anxiety is practically non-existent because the distances are short. Aptera fits perfectly into that world. Resorts and tourism businesses could rent them out daily at low cost while keeping profit margins high. And for tourists, it's not just a cheap ride. It's an experience, driving something futuristic and eco-friendly while surrounded by tropical scenery. The same idea extends to general car rental companies worldwide. When travelers are choosing vehicles, they often go for the cheapest option. Aptera's cost per mile and energy independence would make it unbeatable for rental fleets. Food delivery is another space where Aptera's potential is massive. Think about Uber Eats, DoorDash, or local pizza delivery services. These drivers don't need big cargo areas. They need efficiency. Every mile driven eats into their earnings. And with rising gas prices, those margins shrink fast. Aptera flips that equation. It's affordable to buy, cheap to maintain, and incredibly energy efficient. A delivery driver could work longer hours, make more money, and spend almost nothing on energy. It's fast, aerodynamic, and perfectly sized for urban deliveries. For anyone using their car as an income source, Aptera would be a game changer. 
But Aptera's appeal doesn't stop with workers or businesses. It's also perfect for retirees who want something unique, simple, and fun. Many retired couples are done hauling kids or worrying about backseat passengers. They want a vehicle that's exciting, futuristic, and easy to live with. Aptera fits that lifestyle effortlessly. It's sporty, eye-catching, and practically self-maintaining. Retirees in sunny states like Florida could leave their Aptera in the driveway, let it charge naturally, and enjoy the freedom of never stopping for gas again. Add in its performance, 0 to 60, in about 3 seconds for the tri-motor model. And it's a toy as much as it is transportation. Singles are another large demographic that fits perfectly with Aptera's design philosophy. Most car trips involve only one person. The average commuter doesn't need a back seat full of empty space. They need something practical, affordable, and efficient. For someone living alone, a two-seater with low ownership costs is ideal. And Aptera's minimalist design makes it both environmentally responsible and economically smart. Whether it's a young professional, a city dweller, or someone who just values independence, Aptera makes sense as a modern personal vehicle. Then there's the secondary commuter market. Families or households that already own one main vehicle but need a second one for short daily drives. Commuting 30 or 40 miles to work in a truck or SUV burns money unnecessarily. Aptera solves that. It's an affordable, self-charging commuter car that drastically lowers transportation costs. With starting prices under $30,000 and almost no fuel or maintenance expenses, it's the perfect economic complement to a family's main vehicle. Even as electric pickups and SUVs gain traction, their high prices make Aptera's affordability stand out even more. And that's the key. Affordability and efficiency. Over 10 years, Aptera could be one of the cheapest vehicles to own on the planet. The cost of operation is microscopic compared to traditional EVs or gas cars. With only three tires, minimal maintenance, and potential insurance savings due to its classification as an auto cycle, it redefines low-cost mobility. Sure, it's not built for every scenario, Families with multiple kids will need larger cars. But for everyone else, from singles and retirees to gig workers and vacationers, Aptera checks more boxes than most people realize. Yes, there will be compromises. Its wide stance and three-wheel design are unconventional, and safety comparisons to traditional cars will raise questions. But its benefits are undeniable. Low running costs, solar charging, aerodynamic design, and futuristic appeal. These aren't gimmicks. They're practical advantages that will attract buyers who prioritize independence, efficiency, and sustainability. That's why industry experts like Sandy Monroe predict Aptera could scale far beyond what skeptics expect, potentially producing two to 300,000 vehicles annually. What began as a quirky prototype may soon evolve into one of the smartest, most practical transportation solutions on the market. And as awareness spreads, the so-called niche might just turn out to be one of the biggest opportunities in the EV revolution. Aptera isn't just a new kind of car. It's a glimpse into the future of mobility, one where efficiency, design, and innovation meet real-world practicality. The market isn't small, it's just waiting to wake up.